and welcome to another episode of No Free Lunch, Economics for a Fallen World. I'm Professor Guernsey, joined as always by Dr. Heyman. Dr. Heyman, um, I think in common culture we talk about risks and uncertainty, you know, that's kind of the same thing. But economists and people in the financial world mm -hmm. think about them differently. Sure, yeah, sure. Distinguish those. Yeah, uh, and in some sense, sense it's because we don't know the future. They both are indicative of the fact that there is a future that's there, God has that under control, mm -hmm. and we, we step out in, in pursuit of what's going to happen. And some things we have a, a reasonable likelihood of understanding what's the range of possible outcomes. Other things just kind of broadside us, hit us from nowhere, you know. So, so a, a way to think about the, 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 the distinction would be, if there's something that we have an idea about that could happen, and we have a pretty reasonable way of assessing what that could be, such that we could actually put some sort of probabilistic function of the outcomes that are out there, we would call that risk. And, and that's kind of uh, the world of, of neoclassical economics, is, is that the future is, is bounded because there's a lot of possibilities, but we know, kind of know what they are, we just don't know which one is going to happen. There's a debate, and a lot of economists will, won't buy that because they'll say, look, there, there's a category of, of future outcomes that we really have no basis of putting any sort of probability on whatsoever. And they would call that uncertainty. In a previous video, we talked about uh, on entrepreneurship. Frank Knight made that distinction in, in the very fact that the uncertainty was the basis of profit. Uh, but this, this has a, 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 a much broader implication uh, than, than just being able to uh, make a, uh, maybe a, a semantic difference between these two terms. You know, if you don't know what the future is, it's going to make, there's also an encouragement there. You can actually do some things to, uh, to maybe shape the future as well, but you have to step out and, and it means that there's going to have to be this entrepreneurial function that could actually lead us into the future. And so what you start to see in economics is those that make more of a distinction and an understanding that the world is uncertainty, uncertain are going to have a lot more emphasis on entrepreneurship as the key feature of the economy. In a world that's characterized more by risk, you don't really need the entrepreneur as much. That's kind of a distinction between the two. So, so for what we, where we have this in, in our book, in this particular chapter, which uh, we're, we're talking about now, chapter 10, we focus a lot on the market process. And it's precisely because the market process is in the world of uncertainty, where, where there's future that's to be created that we don't know, that you cannot predict. There's no sort of objective probability distribution out there, that there's a, a huge role for the entrepreneur and in the absence of the, that kind of probability distribution of future possibilities, we all the more are dependent upon institutions to help kind of give us some feel in an uncertain future as to what's going to happen. We'll probably talk about institutions in a future video. <laughs> so let's see if um, this is, if I'm understanding this properly, we might be able to assess the probabilities of a certain company, you know, growing at a certain rate in the next several years. Mm -hmm. But uh, what is the next greatest thing going to be? Technology and supply yeah. something else that's that's much more uncertain. Yeah, those are, those, really those are to totally uncertain. And, okay. and it's interesting. We live in a world where, where it's almost like there's there's periods of time where the world is risky. Mm. In the sense that we have a fairly good, but there's always some entrepreneur that's waiting to come around the corner. Mm. Right now, I, uh, we have a, you and I have a, a business uh, person that talks to us frequently. And he tells us that in his consulting with major CEOs of, of, of Fortune 500 companies all around the world, he says every business is afraid some 20-year-old mm. something is going to come sure. up with some new innovation that's yeah. going to wreck their multi-billion dollar business. That's the uncertainty we're talking about. Sure. It's not the competitive pressure that, that Pepsi might have, you know, what's Coke going to do next? What's their marketing strategy? That might be more of a risky kind of thing. Sure. Uh, so that might be one way of thinking about it. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, hopefully you have a better understanding of risk and uncertainty and can uh, use those uh, terms uh, in a more informed way. Thanks for joining us today on No Free Lunch, Economics for a Fallen World.